Hello me compadres, Brian the Boat here, and today I have a question for you. How do you view me? Do you view me as this loving guy that wears a fedora? Or how about an evil dictator trying to make himself a name onto YouTube to build an army? Or maybe just a regular kid just like you trying to make some videos on YouTube? Or maybe a fake person trying to tell you what's actually not true and hiding away from the truth. Or maybe I'm just trying to hide behind a persona so that you can find some great entertainment. Or maybe someone who actually, you know, draws some content like this great pep. Or how about just a poor Hispanic trying to make his do, you know, out in the field, just mowing his lawn, other people's lawns, cutting the grass with nail clippings because sometimes when the lawnmower breaks, you're gonna need some nail clippings. Or maybe someone who gives very harsh criticisms about videos you make on YouTube. Or maybe you might see me as a hater. There will be many questions and many answers. There will be many questions that will be asked and there will be many questions to be answered. But in the opposite way, there will be many questions that will be asked or never be answered. And so that's why I'm asking you today. How do you view me? Do you view me as this hip hop star that's trying to make a name for himself so I can be rich and I can be part of the YouTube sanctum? Or maybe I'm just a collector that shows off my nice knickknacks that I make off the years. Or maybe I'm just that stuff right here and I just took his soul and now I'm in a reincarnation of the stock. Whatever it may be, you have an opinion and a view on me. And I'm interested to know. And no, this will not affect how I see on myself. I already know how I see myself. There have been a lot of changes in my life to see how I view myself. Many changes were good and others were bad. But of course in life you have to go through your ups and downs. I went through many ups and many downs. Sometimes I looked at the downs and saw them as the biggest mistake that I've ever made and sometimes the biggest mountains that I've ever seen. But in reality they were just small things. Small things that I made into big things. And the big things that were good I made them into small things. Small things that I thought were inconsiderate and just were not worth my time. And I just threw them out of the way. And that's one of the big mistakes that I've made in my life. And what mistakes have you made in your life? You don't have to write in the comments, but this is the question just for you. What have you done in your life that you have thought you made a mistake? Let me ask you that, and let me tell you this. Does it really seem that bad? Are you making it too big? Are you making it to where you think that you're actually doing something wrong or you're actually doing something right? Is it because of someone that told you that you look ugly? Or is it because you've done something to someone? Whatever the answer may be, there is a view on how people judge you. No matter who they are, where they are, they're always going to have a view on you. First impressions are always there. And you gotta remember who you are. Because if you don't, and you allow others to tell you, then you're done. There's no hope for you. You gotta remember who you are. Don't let others tell you what you are. Because I'm pretty sure that they're gonna be wrong. Only two people know who you really are. Never forget that. So when someone tells you you're ugly, don't make too much of it. Because they're just trying to make themselves feel better. Or just trying to put you down. For no reason. There's a lot of that on YouTube. But I guarantee you that there's some good constructive criticism. And then there's others that are just plain bullying. And my suggestion to you, and my advice to you, is that don't pay attention to it. Because once you pay attention to it, you won't stop. You might think that all these hates, comments coming to you will stop. Well, they won't. Because you're paying attention to them. You're giving them fuel. You're adding fuel to the fire. And that's what they want, to make the fire burn. Ladies and gentlemen, the fire starts to burn when you light the fire. And what I mean by that is that when they provide the wood, you either have two options. One, put it out with water so that no one can put it up with a little light. Or two, light it up and give them what they want. But a warning though, there are two things, again, that are going to happen when you light that fire. You're gonna burn or they're gonna burn. Either way, someone gets hurt. Is that really something you want to happen? Do you really want someone to get hurt? Is it something for a good cause? Something that other people would say, hey, that's a good cause. Because if it is, then all glory to you. Go ahead, do it. Whatever makes this world a better place. But if this, whatever you're doing, is bad, and the only thing that's gonna come out of it is death, might I suggest you stop? Because the more you continue to do this, the more the people are gonna view you 
as a monster. Now, I've said before that doesn't matter what they say, but if more people say of what you're not, you're gonna think that what they're saying to you, you really are.